hello welcome so right now i am going to discuss about uh, how you can create uh, salary statements or you can say salary slip so in this i am going to talk about that uh, with the help of formula you can create salary of your five employee it can be 500 it can be 1000 or 2000 or 10 lakh 2 lakh so it is very easy to calculate it uh, first I will try to help you that how we can able to calculate the uh, salary so I'm not include uh, all the uh, allowances which is given by the uh, state government or center government I just included only those uh, allowances which is uh, mostly uh, mostly used and mostly known by all of us so that's why I'm able to use those allowances so book basic salary is just a base so according to the basic salary we are able to calculate hra ta da medical allowance and uh, gpf as well as gross salary and net salary so let us talk about uh, basic salary so right now i'm going to talk uh, use here uh, basic salary is 10000 let us suppose uh, it's 5000 it's 6000 it uh, also five thousand eight near about eight thousand so here we can use currency uh, currency option here so if you want to use currency so currency give you option that you can include your currency symbol so here we have dollar euro and so many so whatever you want to choose you can use it here so there's so many more so I'm going to choose uh, the other currencies which is given by here so in india we are using rupee so you can find out uh, rupee uh, india so where is india i am going to use so we have to find out first okay it took time uh, it's a better we are going to use uh, uh, another currency which is available to us uh, but uh, here we are able to find uh, rupee also because rupee is also included here so I am going to use dollar here uh, you can choose someone else uh, if it is required so I use it here uh, never ever use your own uh, symbol insert own dollar from your keyboard because it will not able to help you to get the value then you then your uh, cell value become alphanumeric then it become alphanumeric you want you didn't able to calculate or you're able to use formula so it's better that you use uh, currency symbol currency option as compared to just symbols from the keyboard so let us suppose hr is uh, HR is 10% uh, of our basic salary so how we can able to calculate the formula it is very easy uh, we all know about it if we want that uh, Excel know about it but what are the what type of uh, input we are going to type it, is it just text or it uh, uh, able to uh, take uh, from formula so equal to symbolize formula so X whenever we use equal to uh, we, if we fix equal to so it means Excel is ready to use formula they are uh, expecting from us that we are going to use formula so here I use equal to so 10% of uh, basic salary I use 10% asterisk sign for into I clicked here so this cell is C2 if you want to choose uh, cell if you want to write it type it so you can type it here so I choose it here C2 I pressed tab or you can use enter should give thousand t is 5.5 percent so again equal to 5.5 you can use percentage it doesn't matter you have to divide 10 so if you use percentage it equal you can calculate your uh, uh, your percentage according to your basic salary so i'm using uh, into then basic salary cell address so let's see too so it gives us hash it means our cell is not appropriate to take this value so it's 550 so d is 7.5 equal to 7.5 into your basic cell address so i increase this cell also medical allowance is 
four percent of your basic salary is just assumption i have not uh, consider any uh, any organization i just take it uh, uh, take it to my own so now i think what well, it's uh, it is belong to any uh, means department or organization i just do it to my own self so it's medical allowance then we have gpf so this is a gross burden fund uh, we all know about it uh, this is that fund which is uh, taken from our salary the government taken from our salary and they give us an interest according to that and uh, after retirement we will get this money uh, back so but it is not included it is not we included in our means uh, net salary so i will explain you after uh, I use equal to then I use 10% of our basic salary so into your basic salary then enter so gross salary is the sum of all all of the things sum of your GPF then all of the things so GPF is also a part of our salary uh, but it is given by after some time uh, after retirement or voluntary retirement it will give us but uh, right now I am just include what is our gross salary so gross salary is the sum of all of the things so I use equal to sum from D2 to H2 so I use D2 and I use range operator and then I clicked H2 here or you can do the other way just like here I can use like that so it's your choice and so according to our GPF and all of the things uh, I calculate my salary is let's see I didn't use percentage here that's why I'm not able to get the right answer so this this it is a $3,700 but I am not including basic salary so basic salary is also a part of our gross salary so it start from C2 so okay basic salary plus your HRA, TA, DA, medical loans, GPF all of the things which will be included here so this is our gross salary so uh, what about our net salary so net salary that salary which is uh, which is uh, given to you or which is will be in your hand or uh, which is will be uh, sent to your account that is your net salary so gross salary is uh, all some of the all above and net salary is of the deduction the salary you will get that is your net salary so equal to my gross salary cell address minus or GPF so we will get $12,700 so this is our salary net salary that uh, will be sent to our bank account so if my employee is 5 it's okay that I will type all the things if my employee is 100 200 300,000 then it is very tedious so for me so how and how I can able to use this with the expert or with the better way? So it's a better way that you will select all the all the cells value just like that. Click here, so you will get the plus mark, addition mark, very thin. Then drag it down. It automatically included your cells, included your formula according to your basic salary. So here, if I use F2, so I got 10% according to the C2. If I goes down and I click F2, C3, it automatically change my cell address, and I use 10%, 5%, it automatically detect all the things. So I hope you will, you are able to understand that how we can able to create our salary so it is not a difficult it is very easy but you know the basic maths if you know the basic maths after our basic formula you are able to become very expert and you can able to use any formula so function is very important to learn here we are use some of our uh, own functions our own formulas that uh, percentage here we learn 
then how you can get the percentage of particular amount so this is not a not a tutorial about the salary but this is the tutorial which shows that how you can get the percentage of your amount with a simple logic so thanks thanks for watch this so we will i will see you in the next video thanks